Today, President Putin, the first ever handsome president to be elected in the history of the United States, has instated his new fork control legislation, just six months after he instated his gun ban legislation. Due to an increase in murders, President Putin has concluded that this is the solution. This is our problem, people. Think about it. Looks like the devil's pits work itself. If we could control forks in our country, we could control violence. Simple. Think about it. A man kills another man. The fork. You take away the fork, would he have killed the man? Of course not. Simple. This is our problem, people. We must control forks in our country. If someone is hungry for murder, of course they'll use a fork. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fork control advocates are excited about the peace it could bring to our country. ABCD's Jay Aginla interviewed psychologist Dr. Frank Bonhoeffer for his thoughts on the new fork control proposition. It's brilliant. You see, humans are good by nature, but due to unhealthy environments, it is very unsafe to allow a uh, uh, lethal, uh, potentially lethal apparatus in, in the hands of uh, anybody. Misspelled words are caused by pencils. You take the pencils away, what do you have? No more misspelled words. You take a, a, a fork away, what do you have? No more murders. There must be control. We also asked self-proclaimed expert Martha Mahinsky about the subject. Okay, first of all, I think it's so funny how the media is just eating this up. Yeah, eating forks, that was very clever. Yeah, okay. I pretty much only have one thing to say about this whole issue. Um, okay, if people come to a fork in the road and there's no fork, what are they supposed to do? Wow, that was, that was really good. Coming up after the break, we'll look at the drastic rise in finger food company stocks. Another thing, people. People have been questioning the legitimacy of my American citizenship. Hoggity washity. I've got the official passport right here, people. Yeah, yeah, in your face. Thank you. Thank you.